Hey friends, Tess here. I'm in my beautiful sweet home studio today. I have a practice for you called the Elixir of Longevity. It is to dissolve the holiday stressors, soothe the stressors, and calm the heart and the mind. I hope you enjoy. All right, let's begin. Find a comfortable seat. We'll begin with Taoist breathing. We breathe up and push out all the air through the mouth. Open the palms up, bring the finger pads to the shoulder blades, expand the heart, look up, in breath. Push forward, out breath. Round the spine, tuck the chin. Open it up to the sky, in breath, behind the nape of the neck. And push out again, out breath. Palms towards sky, fingertips to shoulder blades, inhale. And again, push, reach, stretch. Push all that air out. In breath, expand to the sky. Wash it and then float it behind you as you sweep the hands. In breath, back up. Wash the hands behind the nape. And a big exhale, push everything out. Inhale to the shoulder blades. Out breath forward, rinsing. This brings a heightened awareness, physical rejuvenation, and emotional balance. This breathing practice invites us to dissolve stress, calm the mind, and calm the heart. Out to the sides, beautiful. Back to the shoulder blades. Push, my friends, let it go. Dissolving the tensions. And breath back up. And sweep it, letting it all fold and go. And we'll end breath rise, and gently pull down the sky. Arms out to the sides. Now we'll come into deer, which is the left shin forward, the right knee into the sole of the foot. And we'll do this beautiful nerve flossing. So right hand into the shoulder blade, left palm reaches out and as the fingertips come down. We inhale to transition, hand on shoulder blade. The palm is out, fingertips are facing down. Just threading, like dissolving all the frazzled nerves and bringing the body back into this state of equanimity and balance and gentleness. I'm doing a workshop called Transform Stress into Vitality this Sunday, December 10th at 11 a.m. If you're interested, there's a link. We'll open the arms up and slowly turn towards that left side. And then as you push the hands down, lean back Tuck the chin and find that nice exhale there. And breath arms back up to the sky. Turn to the right side from the midline, not the low back. Push the hands down. C curve the spine and exhale back. When you're ready, inhale back up. Now look over that leg, hand outside of the shin and the quad, and we'll find nice sciatic push ups. Exhaling down, elbows back, inhaling up. Nice and slow is the way. So a little movement goes a long way, friends. Now reach to the side body, we'll open the wing and we gently twist and reach through all the way as much as you can reach through. Ideally, that's an exhale. Inhale to rise the wing, open the chest plate. Exhale to needle through all the way as much as you can. In breath, stretching, expanding, out breath, turning, twisting, and finishing the exhale off. And breath back up. And last one, out breath through. Let the right arm let you rise all the way up. Set the hands slowly down. Now we'll 90-90 with the feet and knees which is creating a hip to knee, knee to ankle expression as much as you can, kind of explore this movement. And we'll move side to side and it's nice to add the arms like kickstands. So right hand behind and then the other side, left hand behind. And then the arm can switch. So the right arm up and over, running more twist, more turn. The other way. Now there's a hip lift here if you'd like to add the hip. So just see what's there and be playful. Keep it spicy this month, friends. Keep it moving. 
dissolve the tension that lives in the body. So, so essential. Just a few more twists. It's playful. And come back to center. There we go. One more. And then we'll come to the other side. So right chin forward, left knee into the sole of the right foot, arms out to the sides, and we'll do this beautiful nerve flossing again. So the right palm into the shoulder blade, left palm down, face it out, and then push those fingertips towards the mat. Ideally, that's an exhale. We inhale to slowly transition, moving gently and slowly at a pace that serves you. Try to soften the jaw and keep the spine nice and long. Chin tucked in. Just unraveling these frazzled, overworked or underworked nervous system. Let's bring the arms up, come over to the right side, push the hands and then seek her back as you find that nice long exhale. Tuck, tuck, tuck the chin. Inhale when you're ready, rise up. Come to the left side, set down the hands, find an edge there, it's a pretty deep twist. Lean back and find that beautiful exhalation. When you're ready, end breath, arms up. Hands outside of the thigh and the shin, and we find dear sciatic push-ups. Very Dao Yin here, as we guide the energy of the pathways through the body, marinating the lower regions as we stretch and release the tension from the hips. Now we'll take it out to the side. Shoulder blade down, ribs away from the floor. Reach the left arm up. When you're ready, exhale through. Finding that exhalation nice and long and soft. Inhale back up, let it pick you up, and slowly set it down. Now 90-90 again, playing with the movement to an edge that works for you. Make sure it doesn't hurt the knees or the hips, so move a little slower and maybe perhaps the legs more inward. Great hip mobility movement. We do a lot of standing in the practices, so it's nice to have a seated floor practice to come to. All right, we'll come back to center, soles of the feet together, and we'll do Dao Yin with butterfly waves. Lowering down, drop the chin, and then C curve back as you exhale up. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, float, and wave it all the way back down as you open it up back to the center. Inhale and exhale back. Spinal undulated movement, dissolving the stress and the tension out of the spine. Neck and head. Now we'll go the other way, rising upward. Tuck and round back as you exhale downward. I call this the dolphin. Imagine you're the dolphin in the water moving with our life force. We'll come back to center. Now push the hands into the shins and turn and look over the shoulder blade. In breath and out breath. Try to dissolve the tension that lives in the head and the neck. We'll go side, soft C shapes being tender here, the neck is such a gentle place. Just moving slowly with breath, coming back to our center. We'll come back to center. Mm, nice slow breath out. Now into tabletop, and it's extending one leg at a time Move it around, you can circle and really play with tabletop with one leg back. Nice to open up the legs after seated for a while. Hands over shoulder blades, shoulder blades over hands. Nice long spine, push away from the floor. 
Now back to tabletop. We'll go cow cat, but it's a reverse motion called spinal flossing. So that's cow rising, and then cat reaching inward and forward. Inhale up, take the tail back. Exhale, rounding forward and tucking inward. Another beautiful thing to do for the spinal cord, rinsing and dissolving the tensions that can live here. We'll come back to center. We'll take the left foot forward and we'll do some spinal movement through low lunge, cow rising, and half splits, cat rounding. It's great for the femur bone, great to pump the joints, still great floor work, but nice and stretchy. In breath and out breath. You can have blocks under your hands and that would help you, the arms and shoulder blades feel more supported. Now lean to the right side and push with the left. And then we're going to circle here. So we go back, forward, and out. And they're just gentle circles. It moves from the ankle, the knee, and the hips. So move in an edge and a pace and a range of motion that works for you. This is great knee mobility work. And the hips get some love too. We'll go the other way just a couple times. And then back to center. Now we're going to move into the side body. So tilt the right side down and heel toe the left foot in front of the knee. So on the forearm, push the ribs away, open the collars, and now we'll tap the foot back behind the knee and then tap the knee in front of the knee. In breath and out breath. This is amazing hip mobility movement. This elixir of longevity, my friends. Finding mindful movement to keep us going. Just a little bit goes a long way. Now we'll rest here in a quadricep stretch. So let the forehead land on the forearm and the hand grab the foot, the ankle, or perhaps even the shin. You can grab a strap or a towel to bring it back. Just find a comfortable place for the quad and the knee. A few breaths really does the trick. We'll let it go, shake it out, stretch it out, hands under collarbones. We'll bend the knees, circle the ankles. Windshield wiper the legs just a few times, and then we'll come back to center and breath rising back to table. And then we have again those nice spinal flossing through cow and cat. Inhale up, tail back, exhale forward rounding and wrapping in. Now we'll switch to the other side so we can be on the same leg. Right foot forward and we'll go through the nice slow pulsation through the femur bone, so extension through half splits, inflection through low lunge. Exhale back, point the toe, Inhale, rise, lift up to the sky. Dissolve the tension from the shoulder blades, neck and head. Now lean into the right side, shifting to the left, and we'll find the gentle circles. Go back, in, forward, and around again. And just finding that place and that space and the padding and the props that you need to create this mindful movement. We'll go the other way a couple times. And then we'll shift to the side body. And it takes a little maneuvering. Shift, forearm down, walk the foot in front, and we'll find hip mobility through the other side. So tap the toe behind, in breath, and bring the knee in front on the out breath. Tilting and shifting and leaning as needed for the hip mobility movement. Beautiful. One more. We'll tap it in. Lean. 
and then grab. Create the props, whatever you need. I like the forearm down, but you can use a pillow or a block there, the forehead. And then grab where it, it feels comfortable and stretchy. Try to find a place and an area in your body that works well for you. Just a few breaths, friends. Come back to our center. Dissolve the stress. We'll let go of the hand and foot. Reach it out, shake it out, hands under collars, lift the feet. We'll come up and then again back through the cow rise, tail back, cat wrap, bring it in. Such beautiful flossing for the nervous system, rebalancing the parasympathetic and the central nervous system. And we'll go side to side and it's nice to look the opposite way perhaps if you tilt the hips to the right look to the left and vice versa and we'll tuck and reach tail back into the heels it's called hero's pose and maybe this works you can always sit but if you can bring it up to kneeling in breath and sweep it back on the out Inhale, gather, and exhale, let it go. Mindful movements for longevity. Now we'll rest here. It's such a beautiful, simple child's forehead down, wrapping the shoulder blades and letting it go. We'll slowly round to rise. Now we'll come back to our seat, this beautiful seat, and we'll gather the chi and center this beautiful practice. Cup the hands, we'll draw the right arm up to the sky, and then the thumb will slowly trace through the forehead, the bridge of the nose, the mouth, down through the heart, back to the center, left arm rises in breath. Up to the sky, we gather and then slowly bring it back down on that amazing out breath. Just gathering the bits of the self and bringing them back home. a few times a day friends we'll hook the thumbs and finish with this beautiful in breath a nice long and slow out breath and we'll restore the chi friendly belly circles up right side over down left side and around We'll cup the hands at the bottom. Thank you so much for being here. Check out the Vitality Workshop that's coming this weekend and all the other amazing classes that are headed your way. Amazing. We'll cup the hands, bring them up to the heart, all that great work we've done, and share it out there to the world, friends. We'll softly let the hands come down. Amazing. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thanks for pushing that like button and subscribing. So appreciative.